This is a very brief review of Kdo, Shto, and their forms. The forms of Kdo and Shto are important for several reasons. One, because if you ever study in Russia, oftentimes Russian teachers will use this set of questions to determine or to show what case you have to use in the sentence. So wh whereas in our classes we say that should be an accusative or that should be in genitive, or we might use the Russian words for them, vinitilni, raditilni, many Russian teachers will instead use the question. So if you say a sentence wrong and don't use the accusative, your, your teacher might say kovo, shto, to give you a hint that you're using the wrong case. The other reason why they're important is because oftentimes if you're asking the question, then kto or shto might be in the question. And if you see the form of kto, shto in the question, it can give you a hint as to what form the answer should take. So let's just look through the forms of kto and shto in the different cases. Nominatives kto, shto. Accusative, kavo, shto. Which makes sense, right? Because it's like nominative when it's inanimate, but it's like genitive when it's animate. Genitive, kavo, chivo. Dative, kamu, chimu. Prepositional, akom, achum. Note that other prepositions could be there. It's just that there must be a preposition there to cause the prepositional case. So usually O is kind of the stand-in that's chosen. And instrumental, kim, chim. So let's look at a few examples and questions. Kto v drugoj komnici? Who is in the other room? Nominative. Što bilo na stelje? What was on the table? Kavo v videli včera? Što vi znajte ab tom? What do you know about that? Vi is the subject, znajte is the verb, and what is what you are hypothetically knowing. So accusative. U kavo ali na si čas živjot? Čivo u nas nijet. Since we have it negated, we need genitive. Kamu vi podarili novi svijet? Čemu učet v škole? A kom pišut v gazete? A čom vi domajte? S kim vi hodili v kino? S čim vi ljubite pizzu? S mjesom ili s avašami?